G'day, today we're going to have a look at a new tower defense game that is coming out soon. This one is called Rune Roots TD. In fact, it may already be out. Uh, and we're going to jump straight in. I love myself a good tower defense game, so I look forward to seeing what we've got here. So we've got um, one axe structure, very well run, permanent tower upgrades, branch tech trees, unlockable endless mode. Overworld map has branching paths, classes that you play. Well, let's go adventure mode. It is recommended after all. Uh, do I need a new profile? Yep. Start. Adventure mode. You'll progress through three acts. Each act is a new location. When progressing to a new act, you will keep your inventory and currencies. All build towers will be left behind. Plan ahead. Save as much money as you can. Okay, so that's a, a nice little strategy that over planning will cost you in the long run. Codex, start, challenges. Well, let's go with start. Let's go medium, uh, confirm class. So obviously I don't have much choice here. Focuses on health and protection. It starts a jacked with full health, which is nice. I just took a rocket. I don't quite know what the storyline is here. I thought we were medieval, but then there seems to be a drone there and a motorbike, no. Okay. Creates an earthquake effect at the target, applying force damage to it and nearby enemies. Fires rapid arcane missiles at the target. Alright, so this is definitely going to be our um, key way of doing this. Fires a bolt. So I really want to go firing at sort of abilities to begin with. Creates a random item in your inventory by one rarity after each combat. It's not bad. Reduces the price of removing trees and repairing structures by two. I don't know how important that is. So let's go for upgrades. Okay. Trial enemies have a 20% block chance to increase in Ghana. Let's go straight in. Let's go... Let's try and see if the easiest level in the game, or the first level in the game, is kind. Okay, so... Where am I being attacked from? From here. Right. So how do I... Build... Towers. Each tower costs one electricity point. Each island starts with four electricity. Windmills give you two electricity points. You can set the see the current island's electricity by the hovering over the island and look at the right start. Okay. Possibly jump in the gun and needed to build one. How much money do I have? I still have enough money though. Okay, so what we want to do then is build on the inside of um, this corner. Matching unique towers on an island unlocks unique benefits. Hover over the ruin icon to see benefits or hold X to see full list. Duplicate towers do not count towards the ruin. New benefits unlocked every two unique towers per island. Okay. Hold a space bar to display the current ruin levels of each island. Okay, so we want to, I guess, place... Hold interact to remove. Now, what is interact? E? No, he's rotate. Uh, settings, controls, keyboard. We get scrolling, we get scrolling, upgrade cell, additional target, target, target. I'm not seeing it. Um, was that actually just telling me it? There, that just says cost five. So what do we think interact's gonna be? I? No, it's gonna remove the thing. Hold interact. I don't know what the fire means. Controls. Oh, it's here. Controls, show tallies, hide inventory, rotate camera, tilt zoom, use. I mean, for me, okay. So I just, oh, so interact is just left click. I just have to hold left click long enough. It was just, there was no reaction to the tree as well, which I think 
for me a bit. So it seems like I don't want to then be building more of these towers because I've already got the two um, different ones and that's sort of what it's trying to pitch to me. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like these guys are going to do enough work to um, do that. I didn't want him there. Oh, there's upgrade. I can upgrade towers. I don't. I don't want him. I was trying to remove a tree, not place him. Did I restart? I've learnt some things very quickly here. I want to. I want to spend money to upgrade these guys. I'm just going to bounce to main menu. And I'm going to come back in. Play, venture, start, start, medium. Yep. So I realize that's similar to like what a lot of games have now. We've got that choice of which way you want to go. Do you want to go to the shops or the whatever? And uh, visiting a treasure node gives you an item as well. Converts all sources of agony into burning. I don't know what that means. Um, enemies gain mana twice as fast, for sure. Okay, so let's do this again. So it's a good thing to get rid of Hopper. Okay, so firstly we're going to place that guy there. We're going to place this guy, I think, up on the hill. So let's get rid of that, put him there. We're then going to say, upgrade this guy. Um, the upgrades don't seem that much. So I mean, if, if it's encouraging me to have different things on different islands, I feel like I just want to start by having these guys like upgraded. Okay, now what? Is it still just that same point? Also, can I have um, guys on the initial island? No. I've got a choice of either doubling up on ones which seem to poo poo me doing, but let's, uh, let's do it anyway. Not sure if I've missed something in terms of like building another um, moment to be expanding further out, like each turn or something. Or am I just, is it just five waves at this length? Which I'm also doing very weirdly because I'm I'm not like building more things, but I'm. I think that that ex instruction saying that I don't really want more than one thing is misleading for how early in the game it currently is. I think, I suspect. So we'll go this guy and um, upgrade him as well. It loose strikes the target with a laser beam dealing arcane damage, okay. Bleed gains 10% critical chance and 25% critical chance. Oh, it's going no longer can be blocked. Increases critical challenge by 10%, critical damage by 20%, can no longer activate effect chance, deals 20% more damage to targets with 10 or greater speed. Sure. Gains an item reward. Okay. You've earned interest on the amount of money you had left after every five waves. Try to save as much as you can. Not taking any damage, five waves also gives you bonus money. Currency current is over to the next act. Try to keep as much as you can. 
That was very brief. Let's go this guy. I realized I could have hovered over and learned about what they were. So that was a waste because I didn't need to restore anything to my crystal. All shops offer a product that costs a single gem. Days now deals damage over time. It shares critical values with poison. Deals 20% more damage to targets with 6 speed or less. Yeah, I like that. So they'll be extremely, like, tough boys. I want two more items? Sure. You have a power. Powers are active abilities you can cast every 12 waves. Use them wisely. You have an additional land token. Selecting a yellow rune gate while outside of combat will spend your token and create a new island extending the path. Cool, this is more what I think we're, we're looking for. Make sure you grab resources on the new island. I've got it, okay. Now we're a bit more... We're a bit more sort of out there. Okay, so... Let's move a... Um, one of these guys forward. And let's put one of our new friends on there too. And let's um, upgrade them as much as we can. Let's just jump to level three. Get this guy upgraded all the way. Now, we also know that we want to save money. So we're trying to have a read here of how well we actually are doing. Just at the moment, I think we're pretty clean. That we can try and save money, get interest. Seems to be getting pretty close. How are you doing? You're upgraded. You're upgraded. What wave was that? Just don't. With my items and my perks, are they now like not fully sure if I can um if I just sort of have free run of them? Like everyone benefits from those. Or do I have to use them or like what's the They just get used, right? Yeah. Period X spawns mushrooms on the path. When stepped on, the mushrooms deal toxic damage. Yeah. I won't worry what the other one is. Um, restores three health to the crystal. Decreases cooldown by 1% for each applied this wave up to 25%. Increases effects chance by 3% for each consecutive hit on a target. Gain 1% critical chance damage and cooldown based on elemental level at the start of the wave, increases critical chance by 1% for each wave the tower has existed. Sure. Attacks can no longer be counted. Critical hits, well we don't want to be counted, so let's do that. Increases effective chance by 60%, but damage is reduced, deal 20% more damage. Yeah, let's try stacking that thing again. In all that attempt to save money, I only got two extra interests than I did the first time. Alright, what are these back ones? Spin the prize wheel, purchase perks with gems. How many gems do I have? Grants power and a reward, refreshes power cooldown. Let's go this way. Offers a sale on towers before boss fights. Gain a three currency each time you take damage. 2% uh, chance to increase swiftness for three seconds on final hits. Yeah, sure.
Grant 3% critical chance, effect chance damage, and cooldown based on the cleanse level at the start of this wave. Can't really afford it. Oh, I can upgrade max tier levels, that's cool. Let's do that. Enemies move faster for this encounter. Sure. Okay. I do like that you sort of progress through that and then you get to come back to your same map. That is pretty neat. Okay. How much have we got? 89. Get a few of these guys. All the way up. And I can't afford a mushroom tower yet, but we will uh, definitely endeavor to bring one in very soon. space between that mushroom and anything else because he um you obviously don't want his ability going to someone that's just immediately about to die um let's put a mushroom in here but I don't have the power so let's go for a power upgrade put that guy in there The idea is kind of just that he'll be far enough back that once that anyone doesn't does make it, we actually do need that tiny little bit of extra damage being done. Launches potions at the target, uh, sends a phoenix at the enemy, which deals fire damage. Yeah, let's do that. Um, applying burning grants five mana. Each attack has a chance to apply burning based on effect chance. Upgrades a random tower three times for sure. Wait, was that just then? Because that would have been useless. Um, maybe my tiny little interest. Alright, we don't need to cover so we can spin the prize wheel. Mushroom, 25% chance to spawn two mushrooms instead of one. It's not bad. I forgot to make the map longer in that last level, I realize now. Nothing seems worthwhile. Your towers no longer like critical hits for this encounter. I feel like this is a boss fight, so we won't um we won't push for that. So firstly though, what we can do is we can push for This. Glad that that just didn't automatically open that door. That would have been a real um, pain. Phoenix continues to fly indefinitely. I feel like what we want to do then is we want to put the Phoenix here um, so that it runs all the length of that line. Okay, so then on this point here, we probably want to go that guy, um, that guy, 
that guy. I don't think I've really got my head around the benefits of each island and the way to really, like, work that. I haven't really played around with priorities either. This tower is what who should be attacking what. Shadow damage, fires, thorns, and fix plus shape pattern at the base of the tower. Let's go to the cauldron. Increases cooldown by 1% for each effect to fly this wave. Each attack has a chance to apply bleed based on its effect chance. Sure. 50% chance to get an extra gem from veins. It spawns an additional ore vein when spawning any time. Now we're getting some interest. slow going for some of these um gems but I suppose we can't have everything in all at once now I assume that that's where I now get a new map I don't mind just sort of building away on my my original little map there but sniper it looks like a sniper It's an arcane blob that bounces between targets, dealing less damage with each bounce. Shocks the target with air damage. Right clicked on that purely accidentally. Alright. I assume we're back to, yeah. Square one. Oh no, but I've still got all my towers. sniper to finish these guys off. Get him. Get him. Ah. Reds for that guy. Very red if I didn't get him. He did get him. Sort of go red every now and then, I guess. Is a volley of icicles at the enemy.
Um, okay, so let's go with this. Restores two health, uh, burning now deals 50% more damage. There's a critical chance of effectiveness by 5%. Effective chance by 3%. Uh, let's... Sorry, did I sell something just then? I totally misunderstood what that was. Completely misread that interaction. Okay, so firstly, not enough currency. Oh, let's just jump straight in then. Now with this guy we want to make a priority as highest maximum health, highest current health. This is who he wants to we want him to uh no? Because he's sort of more f far up. So we want him to just sort of like take shots at the guy that we're going to need to sort of like help to kill later. But I'm not doing a good job of killing anyone at the moment. Alright, so let's get our little laser guy in there. Uh, let's get... We afford him. I could just pay to have a tree destroyed at the same time as placing something in. And I want to try an ice cannon, so we'll just, we'll just have to wait. Hopefully not performing well though at the moment. Okay. about where we wanted to, to get to anyway. Um, there we go, that's our first look at that one. Any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. And until next time, and there's a lot of next, until next, 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 next time. Catch you later. See ya.